Hi, welcome and thank you for joining me today. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot Meditation and Affirmation videos. Today we're going to be doing a meditation on healing from narcissistic and emotional abuse. So what I would like you to do first is I'd like you to find a calm, quiet place. Do not listen to this recording if you're driving or operating machinery. <clears throat> now once you've found a quiet place, I'd like you to either lie down or sit down and relax. And we're going to put all of our focus into our breath. We're going to inhale through our nose for the count of five. Hold it for the count of five. Exhale for the count of five. Be breathless for the count of five. Inhale through your nose for the count of five. Hold it. Exhale. Breathless. Inhale through your nose. Hold. Exhale. When you breathe through your nose, I want you to envision the collar being cleansing and blue. When the air gets into your lungs, I want you to imagine the collar turning a healing color of green inside of your lungs. And when you exhale, I want you to envision the air being red, removing all of the emotions, all of the negativity from your body, releasing them into the atmosphere. So we're going to inhale through our nose, blue, cleansing, peaceful, clean air. We're going to hold it into our lungs as it turns green, the color of grass and trees and nature. We're going to exhale through our mouths, fire red, releasing all of those emotions and negativity into the atmosphere. Again, we're going to inhale fresh, clean, pure blue air through our nostrils. Hold it inside of our lungs as it turns green and healing us from the inside out. We're going to exhale, releasing all of those emotions, all of that negativity into the atmosphere. Now, as we continue to breathe, we're going to put all of our focus into our feet. We're going to release all tension from our feet. We're gonna move up and then we're going to thank our feet. Be grateful to our feet for what they do for us. We're going to move up to our calves we're going to release all tension in our calves and we're going to thank our calves and be grateful for what our calves do for us. We're going to move our focus up to our knees and release all tension in our knees. We're going to be happy and grateful for our knees. We're going to move up to our thighs. We're going to release all tension in our thighs. We're going to be happy and grateful for our thighs. We're moving up to our hips and our buttocks, releasing all tension in our hips and buttocks. 
We're gonna be happy and grateful for what our hips and buttocks do for us. We're moving up to our stomach and our lower back. And we're releasing all tension in our stomach and lower back. And we're happy and grateful for what our stomach and lower back does for us. We're moving up to our shoulder blades and we're releasing all tension in our shoulder blades. And we're happy and grateful for what our shoulder blades does for us. Up to our arms, down through our elbows and our hands and our fingers, and releasing all tension. We're happy and grateful for our arms, hands, shoulders, and fingers. Moving up to our neck. We're happy and grateful for our neck for holding our heads up, releasing all tension. Our face, we're happy and grateful for our face. We're releasing all tension in our face. Our scalp, we're happy and grateful for our scalp. Now we're going to envision breathing in clear, clean, blue air through our nostrils. Holding it, it's turning green. Releasing the red through our mouths, all the emotions and negativity. Breathing in through our nostrils, blue, cleansing air. Holding it. It's turning green in our lungs, healing us. Exhaling <clears throat> all of the negativity, all of the emotions, red. Inhaling, blue, hold, green. Exhale, red. Excellent. Now allow yourself to relax as much as possible. As you do so, imagine a very safe, happy place. This place can be magical, a relaxing beach you visited earlier, or it can be on top of a mountain or in a tropical rainforest or in your favorite room in your home. As you imagine the safe, happy place, I want you to use all of your senses. Imagine what it smells like there. Can you smell flowers or other gentle fragrances? What do you hear? What do you taste? What do you see? What do you feel? You feel confident, safe, relaxed, protected, calm, cool, and at ease in the safe place. It's a happy place. Anytime you want to feel safe, relaxed, and at ease, all you have to do is imagine going to your safe, happy place, and you will immediately be there feeling relaxed and comfortable. I would like you to leave your safe, happy place for now. Take those secure, confident feelings with you and imagine walking into a medium-sized room. This room is like a conference room. However, it's divided in half 
by a huge piece of thick glass. This glass is special because it's indestructible. You cannot break it, even if you hit it with a sledgehammer. There's a chair on the other side of the glass. And there's a chair next to you if you want to sit down. Imagine that an individual with whom you are very angry or upset with walks into that room on the other side of the glass and sits down in the chair. This person may have harmed you in the past or is harming you now. There may have been emotional or physical abuse or it may have been less serious incident that hurt you just the same. This person may be a stranger, a relative, a spouse, or a parent. It is important to know that while this person is sitting in the chair on the other side of that special glass, he is unable to move, talk, or make any facial or bodily gestures while you are speaking. It is impossible for him to leave, interrupt, or even move while you are speaking. What I want you to do is tell him exactly how you feel inside. Tell him how you felt when he or she hurt you, how you feel now, and anything else that you want or need to say. This is a very safe and secure place to get it all off your chest, releasing it once and for all. Take your time. And remember, he or she can do nothing but listen to what you have to say. Take your time and do this now.
Well done. This is very important. What I want you to do now is have this person respond to what you said in the way that you would want most for him or her to respond. It doesn't matter if he or she would do this in reality. Have him or her do this here and have him or her do it now. That's good. Now go ahead and respond to what he or she just said. Take your time. Now have him or her respond again in the way that you would want him or her to respond the most.
if there is anything else that you would like to say to this person, please do so now. If not, then what I want you to do is tell this person you forgive him or her. Remember, you are freeing yourself from the past and releasing the negative energy that still holds you back from true peace and happiness. I want you to forgive yourself for whatever needs to be forgiven. If it's just for hanging on to the anger for so long, then go ahead and forgive yourself and forgive the other person. Do this now. Finally, I want you to say goodbye to this person. You can just say goodbye, shake his or her hand, give him or her a hug, and leave the room. As you do this, return back to your safe, happy place, and recharge and warmth and love this place provides you. I am healing slowly but surely, day by day, one step at a time. I am putting the past well and truly behind me to focus on the present and future. I am a lovable person who deserves the care, affection, and respect of others. I am making self-care a priority. I know and trust my own mind. I have firm boundaries and the strength to stick with them. 
I have the full support of my friends and family. I have a fundamental right to a nurturing environment. I seek to live a peaceful life, free from emotional abuse. I am a valuable human being. I have the right to be treated with respect. If I allow myself to be mistreated, I am teaching that it is okay for others to abuse me. I will not assume responsibility or accept blame for any abusive behavior. I am not causing the unhappiness in my abuser. I am choosing to believe in myself, whether or not anyone else does. Approval from others is not essential to my well-being. It is not my responsibility to guard my own safety. I can't force someone to change, but I can create more distance when someone abuses or violates my personal rights. I am learning to take care of myself. I do not have to feel guilty for allowing others to take care of themselves. I am developing my own character and identity rather than being submerged into what other people think I should be. I am not a failure or less of a person because I make mistakes. I expect success and failure as part of who I am. I know that I am not perfect. I can be powerful, creative, and assertive when necessary. I have enough confidence to believe I can handle all kinds of circumstances. I will confront my abuser when it is appropriate and safe it is the only way to stop the abuse and restore healing to our relationship. I am confident and optimistic about the future. I believe that my higher power is transforming my brokenness and gently carrying me from the darkness to light. I am healing slowly but surely, day by day, one step at a time. I am putting the past well and truly behind me to focus on the present and the future. I am a lovable person who deserves care, affection, and respect of others. I am making self-care a priority. I know and trust my own mind. I have firm boundaries and the strength to stick to them. I have full support of my friends and family. I have a fundamental right to a nurturing environment. I seek to live peacefully free from emotional abuse. I am a valuable human being. I have the right to be treated with respect. If I allow myself to be mistreated, I am teaching that it's okay for others to abuse me. I will not assume responsibility or accept blame 
for any abusive behavior. I am not causing the unhappiness in my abuser. I am choosing to believe in myself, whether or not anyone else does. Approval from others is not essential to my well-being. It is my responsibility to guard my own safety. I cannot force someone to change, but I can create more distance when someone abuses or violates my personal rights. I am learning to take care of myself. I do not have to feel guilty for allowing others to take care of themselves. I am developing my own character and identity rather than being submerged into what other people think I should be. I am not a failure or less of a person because I make mistakes. I expect success and failure as part of who I am. I know I am not perfect. I can be powerful, creative, and assertive when necessary. I have enough confidence to believe that I can handle all kinds of circumstances. I will confront my abuser when it is appropriate and safe it is the only way to stop the abuse and restore healing to our relationship. I am confident and optimistic about the future. I believe that my higher power is transforming my brokenness and gently carrying me from the darkness to light. I am healing slowly but surely, day by day, one step at a time. I am putting the past well and truly behind me to focus on the present and the future. I am a lovable person who deserves the care, affection, and respect of others. I am making self-care a priority. I know and trust my own mind. I have firm boundaries and the strength to stick with them. I have the full support of my family and friends. I have a fundamental right to a nurturing environment. I seek to live a peaceful life, free from emotional abuse. I am a valuable human being. I have the right to be treated with respect. If I allow myself to be mistreated, I am teaching that it's okay for others to abuse me. I will not assume responsibility or accept blame for any abusive behavior. I am not causing the unhappiness in my abuser. I am choosing to believe in myself whether or not anyone else does. Approval from others is not essential to my well-being. It is my responsibility to guard my safety. I cannot force someone to change but I can create more distance when someone abuses or violates my personal rights. I am learning to take care of myself. I do not have to feel guilty for allowing others to take care of themselves. I am developing my own character and identity rather than being submerged into what other people think I should be. I am not a failure or less than a person because I make mistakes. I expect success and failure as part of who I am. I know that I am not perfect. I can be powerful, creative, and assertive when necessary. I have enough confidence to believe that I can handle all kinds of circumstances. I will confront my abuser when it's appropriate and safe. It's the only way to stop the abuse and restore healing to our relationship. I am confident and optimistic about the future. I believe that my higher power is transforming my brokenness and gently carrying me from darkness to light.
Take a deep breath. Breathe in, healing, blue. Hold it in your lungs as it turns, green. Exhale, red, all of the emotions. Let them out, let it go. Inhale, healing, cleansing, blue air through your nostrils. Hold that air in your lungs as it turns healing green. Exhale through your mouth, fiery red, releasing all of those emotions. Inhale, healing blue air through your nostrils. Hold in your lungs as it turns a vibrant healing green. Exhale, red, negative emotions. Inhale, healing, blue air through your nostrils. Hold as it turns a healing green in your lungs. Exhale, red, negative emotions through your mouth. Inhale, healing blue air through your nostrils. Hold as it turns into a healing green. Exhale, red, negative emotions. Slowly open your eyes. Become fully alert and awake. You've done a wonderful job on a very difficult task and you should be very proud of yourself. You may feel lighter as though a heavy weight has been removed from your shoulders. You probably feel a bit exhausted from this exercise as well. Getting in touch with your anger can be a draining experience. Through releasing the anger in a positive way, the energy you put towards remaining angry can now be channeled into more constructive and loving ways. Go ahead and describe your experience on this meditation in a journal. Write down any thoughts or feelings that you've had during this meditation and any new feelings or insights you may have had. Also, think of anyone else with whom you may need to meet in that conference room and do this exercise again. This room is there for you whenever you need to get things out. It's often better to do it in person Yet if this is impossible or out of the question, then the conference room is an excellent alternative. After you journal, I suggest taking a break. You deserve it. Thank you for joining me today. Light and love. Namaste.